everywhere. Do you have this recording? Yeah. <laughs> it's not blood. It's uh, it's grease. <laughs> I'm Andy Gerspacher, this is Groundhog Garage, out at my brother's place. He owns a little tree nursery here called Freedom Forest, and uh, he's Joey. The goal is to make a trailer that's rated for about a thousand pounds. Actually, no, 500 pounds. So it'll ride smooth. A lot of these yard carts for like racers, riding lawnmowers and stuff don't have any kind of suspension. Um, they typically always have the same little dump lever here. So we're gonna try and incorporate that into it as well, but also where it has a good suspension so it's just not bouncing around. So with the stub axle, these tires were just a little bit too wide in order for it to fit, so it was rubbing on the pivoting arm by like a quarter inch. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these rims, but we're gonna switch to these 20 by eight, and uh, these should fit on there with plenty of clearance, and it'll keep the trailer a little bit lower, because if we use these, obviously this trailer would be a lot higher up. <laughs> so I'm gonna watch him work for a little bit, and then uh, <laughs> we'll move on to something else. But Strong like bull. That's pretty neat. <laughs> Thank you.
this is going to be the frame that actually pivots up. It's going to pivot on this bar here. I left these outside bars here a little bit longer, like with the 10 inch overhang, regardless of the side of the trailer you're on, you'd still be able to grab one of those bars and raise this thing up on its pivot. And it's going to give you more leverage. Found a good platform to uh, prep the trailer on for paint. A nice tree stump.
with the combination of the angle iron here on the side and the C channel, I was able to make it where all the sides just drop in. 